Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Annie Faye. For those of you that don't know me, for those of you that do, hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. Today we're gonna do a little Valentine's Day makeup look. I wanna go for something like super glowy, pink, flirty, romantic, you know the vibes? I put on a cute little pink top to match the look we're gonna go for. So let's just jump right into it. I already have the Laneige Glowy Lip Balm on the lips and we're gonna prep the skin with the MAC Hyper Real. Just going in with the Ceramizer first. I had a self-care day yesterday, so I did a lot of masks and exfoliation, and today my face feels like a baby's ass. So smooth. This Ceramizer is just gliding on. Also, I'm filming during the day, which sometimes messes with my lights. Um, I do have a pretty hefty lighting situation going on, but sorry if it's like kind of all over the place. Three years into YouTube and I'm still figuring out my lighting. After the Ceramizer, I'm gonna go in with the Hyper Real Skin Canvas Balm. Oh, this is giving me some much needed hydration. My skin feels so dry, probably from all my masks yesterday. I love how this moisturizer feels on the skin though, super hydrating. And it just gives me such a nice glow, which is perfect for our glowy Valentine's Day look. For under the eyes, I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Eye Cream. This just really gets rid of any fine lines. Because it's Valentine's Day, we want to be looking refreshed. Now I'm going in with the Stay Glowy Super Gel just to give me some more glow. I can't stress enough how glowy I want the skin to be. So I'm just going to take a couple of pumps in my hand. And then we're just rubbing that into the skin. You can already see how glowy that makes me. This is the foundation I'm going to be going in with. It's the Lancome Tiant Idol Ultra Wear Care and Glow. I actually love this foundation. It gives my skin such a healthy glow. And the finish is just so beautiful. It honestly looks like skin. It's a medium coverage, but it's definitely buildable as well, which I love for those days when I'm breaking out. And it's also long wearing. We want our makeup to stay put. I'm just using a BK Beauty 101 brush to apply that. I do think the foundation might be a shade or two darker than my skin tone. I got it when I was a bit more tan, but we're gonna make it work. I'm just gonna add a little bit more dimension to my face using the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. I'm just picking up some product on a sponge and we're just tapping that into the skin. Basically anywhere that I want some more contours and just to enhance my facial features. I don't wanna do like crazy contour, you know? We're keeping it very light for this look. Using the Skin Enhancer to contour my nose as well. I just picked up some of the products on a BK Beauty A501, and I just start at the tip of my nose and work my way up. Concealer of choice is the Lancome Tiant Idol Ultra Wear. I'm going in with the shade Buff, a little bit under the eyes, a lot, a lot, I guess. On the forehead, tiny bit on the chin, and then I'm not gonna do any on the nose. I'm gonna let that sit for a bit before I blend it out with my sponge. It's been a couple minutes, so we're just blending that out. This is my favorite concealer because I just feel like it does not crease. I shouldn't say that because to be fair, all concealers do crease. Like if you have fine lines, you will experience creasing, but I find that this one is the most crease proof, at least for me. For blush, I'm gonna mix a little bit of the Rare Beauty Bliss Liquid Blush with the highlighter in the shade Transcend. I'm just gonna do that on the back of my hand. We really don't need too much, but the blush is matte and I just want it to be glowy, but I really love the shade. Just giving that a little mix and I'm going to apply that with my finger. So subtle, but so pretty. I just tapped off all of the contour, well, at least all that I could get off. And now I'm just picking up whatever is left with my sponge and we're just gonna blend that out with a sponge. This is almost too subtle for my liking, so I'm just gonna apply a very tiny bit of the Rare Blush in the shade Happy. Just two little dots. And I'm blending that with a Sigma F12. Ah, oh, this is perfect, exactly what I was looking for. I'm gonna go in with Huda Beauty Cupcake to set everything. I'm just applying that with my cute little pink powder puff. How fitting. I love this powder, it is just so good. Gets rid of any texture, sets my face. And I've been trying to get a hold of Cherry Blossom forever, but I swear it's always sold out. I wish I had a pinker powder for this look, but Cupcake has like a little bit of a pink tint to it. For once in my life, I'm gonna stop here and try to not overdo it with the powder. Going in with the Makeup by Mario Skin Perfector in light medium, just to bronze up the face a little bit. And I'm just applying that with a BK Beauty 107. Just literally tapping it over where I applied the Skin Enhancer. I'm not going crazy with it, like I said. We want this to be a subtle 
contour, I guess. A little bit on the nose as well. I don't even know. This brush does not have like a number on it, but it's from Morphe. What a better time to use this pink Givenchy blush than today. This is in the shade Tafetas Rose, and I'm just applying that with a Morphe V106. This blush kind of scares me because I feel like it's very easy to go overboard with it. And subtle. We want subtle. Not that anything I ever do makeup-wise is subtle, but, you know, a girl can dream. I haven't used this palette in so long. It's the Dior Glow Face Palette, so we're going to use that to highlight. Just mixing these two shades here, and I'm going to go on the high points of my cheeks. Just using the same brush as before. Honestly, this is looking stunning. For nose highlight, I'm just gonna pay, take this white shade and tap that on my nose. Oh, that's too much. Powders are done, so we're going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless, Airbrush, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. We're not shy with the setting spray. We want this look to last all night using my sponge to tap that into the skin. We're gonna do a pink eyeshadow look, so I'm gonna prep with this here. This is the Rare Beauty Nearly Rose Liquid Eyeshadow. Look at how pretty this is, you guys. It is just such a stunning shade. Should I try using this as blush one day? I think I'm going to. It's just so pretty. I'm just going to blend that out, and it just gives me such a beautiful pink base. I'm just gonna kind of like drag it up and out as I always do. Oh, this is so pretty. It's just making my eyes look so green. Oh god, my back is killing me, dude. Ugh, okay. For eyes, I have the most beautiful palette here from Pat McGrath. This is from their Valentine's Day collection. It's the Iconic Infatuation palette. This is what she looks like. So pretty. Do I have any clean brushes? Like, I don't even think I have a single clean brush in this place. I'm gonna have to clean my brushes tonight. Nothing is clean. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this shade here and I'm picking that up on a BK Beauty 202 brush and I'm just blending that into my crease. Oh my goodness, this, I've never used a Pat McGrath palette, but this is beautiful. It's just blending so well, it's so pigmented. Damn it! I was hoping I wouldn't fall in love because this was sent to me, but I know her palettes are a pretty penny. Okay, I don't think I want to make it any darker than this. Like I said, it's gonna be light, flirty, nothing too crazy, but I do want to make it a little bit darker in the outer corner here. So I'm gonna pick up this shade right here, and I'm just blending that in the outer V using a Morphe M506. Um, full disclosure. I do wish my BK Beauty blushes, brushes, <laughs> were clean because I just feel like they blend a little bit better. This will do. I'm just gonna go back in with that original brush and blend that out. And I'm just gonna take that shade and the same Morphe brush. And we're just gonna use that on my lower lash line. Okay, I'm debating one of these two shades for the lid, but I think I'm gonna go with this one because how pretty is that? I don't know if I should take it on my finger or a brush. Do I even have a clean brush? Who knows? I'm just picking that up with a Sigma E57 and we're just gonna pat that on the lid. Okay, that is really pretty. <gasps> wow. I'm gonna pick up this light shade here actually. And just put that right in the inner corner. Oh my goodness, that is really pigmented. Okay, now I'm gonna take this Sephora shadow and liner glitter pencil thing in the shade Rose Gold, and I'm just gonna apply that on my lower lash line, just in the inner corner. I think I want a little bit more pink glitter, so I'm going in with this MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid. This is in the shade Every Day is Sunshine, and I'm just applying that to the center of my lid. And I'm gonna tap that out with my finger. Okay, I am loving this look. I think I'm just gonna move on to lashes now. I don't wanna do too much, I think it's perfect. So I'm just going in with the MAC Max Stack Mascara. Filling in my brows the same way as always, using the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen in the shade Ash Brown. I basically use this to draw on a whole new brow tail. And I also use it to lightly fill in at the front of my brows. Set the brows with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Lily Lashes sent me a bunch of their half lashes and look how cute the packaging is. 
is it not so perfect for this look okay i wish the lighting would stay like this but yeah i picked out a few of my favorite pairs so let's go with you know what we're gonna go with dreamy just so you guys know i've been filming a tiktok whilst this i'm filming this youtube video so i'm sorry if it's been like kind of all over the place but i'm just applying some of the velour lash glue let's pick out a lip while the lashes get tacky anytime i film i look cute on top and then the bottom is just sweats but at least today they match the pink vibe the lip combo is picked out and the lashes should be good to go they're adding like the perfect amount of wispiness okay the lighting I don't understand how do people have a good lighting setup because I just cannot relate. Maybe it's my camera because on TikTok, like it's not too bad, but I'm just clamping the falsies with my natural lashes. Okay, what's next? Drafts. Okay, TikTok is a two-parter, so gotta go back Let's to part one. Valentine's oh, shut up. Oh, stop. The vibe is pink. Oh, sorry, I hate hearing myself <laughs> editing's fun the planner of choice is the refi lip sculpt in the shade rosewood it's just such a beautiful pinky nude and i'm also using it just to fill in my lips a little bit what a perfect time to use the mac lipstick in the shade angel <laughs> this is such an iconic pink shade we're gonna go in with a gloss as well this is the Too faced lip injection maximum plump this is just the clear shade and it just makes my lips look so juicy. Oh, what a cute lip combo. We're gonna lock everything in with the one size setting spray. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This setting spray literally makes my makeup indestructible. And we're all done. Okay, here is the finished look. Once again, I'm so sorry about the lighting. I will figure it out eventually. It's just so dark behind me. Like, how many lights do I need in here? Anyway, I'm going to go on Amazon right now and figure that out for you guys. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this cute little pink glowy makeup Valentine's Day makeup look. I'm going to be filming at least one more. I think I want to do something a little bit more sultry and sexy, but I thought this would be like cute, flirty, romantic, you know? Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. I think I'm gonna film that tomorrow. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. If you like this vibe, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.